very, very easy. No resistance whatsoever. That's really good. Yep. That's really good. This is going to be the Spyderco Police 4. It's the lightweight edition. And uh, so ever since Cold Steel was bought by GSM, I've been kind of worried that they're not going to do exactly what uh, Cold Steel's original vision, which is to make the strongest and sharpest knives. And I like a lot of mega folders. And so I've been kind of on the search, like, well, if Spider, if Cold Steel just goes to complete crap, where am I going to go? And so uh, I owned a Spyderco Police way back in the day. I regret trading it, but um, I recently got this one in a trade for the Yojimbo that didn't perform so well. And so I'm excited to see how this is going to do on our pork loin test. Um, it's it's a phenomenal slicer. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera but it's as thin as a uh, precise ground kitchen knife and it, it just will cut and cut and cut and so that, that's that's a great thing but also with the tip it can be a bad thing and so i want to test this first i'm just going to do stab and very very easy no resistance whatsoever and so that's good and so now I'm gonna do a big vertical with uh, what's left of this pork tenderloin. That's really good. Yep. That's really good. That's, uh, I think that's on par with uh, our black talons and it does have a curve, a thinly ground blade, and definitely did way better than the Yojimbo. Uh, if you love the Yojimbo, I did too, but please go back and watch that video or perhaps I'll put in a clip. But um, when it comes to a knife that you're gonna depend your life on, you want cuts that are gonna do something like that. So thank you for watching and have a good day.